Having been in Nigeria for a bit, Zoho has decided to dig its feet deeper in the Nigerian soil by launching an office in Lagos, Nigeria. Now, this is why I am here. Zoho is hosting the Zoholics Conference 2022, which, by the way, is a suit of software that helps small and big businesses simplify their processes, automate their operations, and manage their customers a lot better. I am Bella Rose from Tech City, reporting from the Zoholics Conference 2022. It's so good to have you, Haider. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. First time in Nigeria. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah, really? I, I really like it. Now tell me about the Zoholics Conference. Zoholics is our flagship user conference where our customers and prospects come for this conference. Now, apart from the Zoholics Conference, you also have announced your office in Nigeria. That is a major move. What do you hope to achieve with that? Yeah, we want to have a local office, hire local people, what we call it as transnational localism. We want to be global but yet local. So one of the strategies is to bring the Zoho to the country. So now we are here, present. You know, Zoho is very easy to use. You don't need any technology, blah, 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 so that is not needed. You just have to just sign up and we have a team that will onboard you and hold you. And SMEs is one of our biggest focus because they need to digitalize their process. And this is the age of digitalization. So we are trying to encourage them to use the software, to understand how the market goes. You know, they'll be able to do a lot of things, scale. Then with Zoho products, we'll be able to scale, scale, then monitor your progress. So with Zoho. That's exciting. How affordable is Zoho? I will use the word very, 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 very affordable because we build in Naira. Number one, if you're looking for global brand, you're looking for quality service, you're looking for top tier software, you should switch to Zoho. And the cost implication is very cheap. So you'll be saving about 50 to 60% of your expenses on software by moving to Zoho. Zoho is very, very broad. And for my company, it has helped us and has made our projects and our jobs very seamless. So how much do you prefer Zoho compared to the competition? Uh, Zoho is so much better. It has lesser data entry because everything is automated. Rather than using your mind to get reminded of a whole lot of things, Zoho has a lot of workflows and automation that makes work seamless. As partners, we sell Zoho to customers, B2B, B2C. We, Zoho has amazing solutions, ERP solutions. The future of Zoho in Nigeria, I'm, I must tell you this, we are scared as partners right now. Zoho has a very big market in Nigeria, as I speak to you, because the upcoming businesses, the small businesses that cannot compete with Microsoft, um, Dynamics and the rest, Zoho is there for them. So it's really an open market for them. I think the major another announcement is the Africa Digital Starter Plan. So as part of this package, we have uh, you know, the Zoho Workplace, Zoho Begin and invoice products and more than 10 products packaged into Africa Digital Starter Package. And this will be available from July 1st, exclusive for Africa audience. And today I'm proud to announce that in front of this great Nigerian crowd. Last year, we saw a growth of 74%. Zoho was growing at 40%. And Middle East Africa growing at 51%, but Nigeria grew at 74%, surpassed all our expectation. And in coming months and years, we'd be investing more in Nigerian market, and we look forward for a you know even better growth in coming years. Affordability, scalability, and ease of access are some of the advantages that Zoho has promised its users in the event that they choose to go on with the platform. And we hope that this video has also given you a lot of information and some useful tips on your decision to join the Zoholics train. Thanks for watching. I am Bella Rose from Tech City, reporting from the Zoholics Conference 2022. See you next time.